they seem terribly surprised when I got a seven-year-old girl here that uh, said she was in a plane crash. That man got quite a shock after he answered a knock on his door. A seven-year-old girl standing there covered in blood. She told him she had survived a plane crash and her parents and her sister had died. The girl was taken to hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. The girl's cousin also died in that crash. Now, we managed to get in touch with that man you just heard from. Larry Wilkins helped the girl after she survived that plane crash in Kentucky. And Larry Wilkins joins us now over the phone from Catawba, Kentucky. Hey, Larry, how are you feeling today? Uh, give out. I hadn't been to bed yet. I believe it. I believe it. <laughs> What's been running through your mind? Well, I, I, I just feel sorry for the little girl. Like I've, I've told everybody I've talked to, I'm, I'm getting a lot of credit here, and all credit belongs to her. Yeah. Well, take I mean, us. She's seven years old and, and walked through what I wouldn't walk through in the daylight. Yeah. Tell us what happened. How did she show up on your doorstep last night? I mean, I, I, I've got a, a street light out here, uh, or security light, and I, I'm supposing that, that she saw that light and just walked towards it. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the only reason I, I, I can imagine the, how she came to this house. Mm hmm. And so you hear a knock on the door, and, and then what? Well, uh, actually, I didn't hear it. The little dogs heard it. And uh, I, I thought there was a raccoon back on the, on the deck again, so I walked out there, and, and there she was. Her nose was bloody. Arms and legs were scratched up, something fierce from all the briars and stuff out here in this woods. And, of course, she was crying and told me that her mom and dad were dead. And then she was in a plane crash and said that the plane was upside down. She didn't say anything else about anybody else being in a plane. But uh, she was, like I said, she was pretty pretty calm for a, for a seven-year-old that had been in a plane crash and walked three-quarters of a mile through that stuff. What kind of stuff did she have to walk through, Larry? Well, we had an ice storm here in 2008. And thousands of trees went down. And this woods, it's not, I don't own the woods, but there's trees down all over it. And briars, blackberry, wild blackberries, uh, briar patches, uh, just, a, just a mess. And like I say, that's where she got her scratches from. I, I'm assuming that she got the, the nose bleed from the plane crash. So what did you do, Larry? She, she told you what happened. What do you do next? Well, first thing I done was put her on the couch and propped her feet up. And then I called 911. And fortunately, uh, the state policeman was close. He was here within 10 minutes. And uh, I, I did take a washcloth and, and wiped her face and her, and her legs off. And... Uh, she was she was doing pretty good till the EMT people got here and they scared her. And of course, you know a seven year old being strapped to a board with a neck brace on and that, that scared her mm -hmm. quite a bit. Did she say anything else to you while all of that was happening? Uh, no, she wanted me to go with her to the hospital. I guess in a twenty minute time we bonded a little bit, <clears throat> but they wouldn't let me go. On, with on an ambulance because wasn't wasn't next to can or nothing you know. Mm -hmm. But I haven't uh, I haven't heard from her since. Have you heard anything they, from authorities or anyone? Uh, they took her to a, the local hospital. Uh, we also the local to Paducah, it was about thirty miles. <clears throat> and I understand now that her grandmother has picked her up. Okay. My, my daughter-in-law come in and said she'd heard that somewhere that the grandmother had picked her up. She was from Nashville, Illinois, which from here is about 140 miles from the hospital, about a, about 110, 15. Mm -hmm. and so one, one brave little girl. Yeah, it's an unbelievable story. And now you're saying that you don't want any of this credit. <laughs> Ma'am, I, I, I answered the door and then what any any person in the, in the right mind would have done. <laughs> well, you just think about this girl's future now, and you just hope for the best, right? It, oh, yeah. 
You know, yeah, I, I, she lost her whole family, you know, and uh, I just pray that she's got somebody that will take care of her. Yeah, as we all do, Larry. Thank you very much for sharing You're this welcome. experience with us. We wish you all the best. Thank you. That's Larry Wilkins. Uh, he helped the sole survivor of a plane crash in Kentucky last night, a seven-year-old girl, and we reached him in Katawa, Kentucky.